My name is Craig Croner. I'm uh, the Administrative Services Manager for the City of Boise. Uh, my background actually started out as an entry-level fleet mechanic uh, right out of Bow Technical School. And today I, I manage the fleet as well as three other uh, divisions for the City of Boise. I think the, the biggest challenge right now is just keeping up with the industry. Um, for years and years, the, the mechanical parts of, of uh, uh, vehicles and, and engines and uh, you know just the, the equipment itself was, was pretty basic. And now in the last 20 years, things have really gotten more complex. It takes a lot more training. You have to be uh, one step ahead of the, the uh, evolution of the technology as it, as it comes on the end of the industry. And then how do you how do you effectively communicate those all those changes to operators and to, to create a, a really safe environment for your fleet uh, personnel as well as the operators that are operating that equipment? You don't always have to be right. Oftentimes, I think we, we expend a lot of political capital when we're we're always constantly trying to make sure that everybody knows that, that we're the smartest person in the room when we're talking about fleet technologies and those types of things. And I think at times we can alienate ourselves, at least I've, I've been in that situation where I'm constantly trying to prove that I was right about something when I was a young fleet manager as opposed to being more collaborative. And my best advice to a, to a new fleet manager coming on is just understand that everybody knows that you know what you're talking about because you're, you're in that position for a reason. And that once you go through uh, and, and evolve as a fleet manager, you'll know that sometimes you don't always have to prove you're right. You need to make sure that you're collaborating and everyone comes to the right conclusion. One of the biggest mistakes I made in my career was I, I would always think that when somebody would come into the, to the shop that I, I needed to make sure that they knew that I was in charge. And it was it was really about control, and sometimes that that control you can you can lose a lot of people. The biggest challenge today is we have a lot of uh, uh, upcoming retirements. We're starting to see the end of the baby boomer generation, and we need to be prepared to have high quality people moving into this industry that that understand. Uh, a variety of different areas. It's not just about being able to get your hands dirty and repair a piece of equipment. It's about being able to work within a fleet management information system, gathering data. What do you do with that data once you get it? What kind of analytics do you have to run to where you can paint the picture to where you can take that fleet from 2.0 to 3.0? Those are the things that we really need to be conscientious of and making sure that our people are trained in order to make those things come to fruition.